this is Carl's Fish Farm, an introduction to aquaculture. Michelle Edge wrote this book based on her family's business. Carl tells his story about his life here, and he talks about how he was born as an egg and then moved to a fry and a juvenile and an adult. And uh, he has children, and then his children go to live in other ponds and other homes. She says she's watched them work and grow on their family farm, Edge Aquatic Services, in Soperton, Georgia, which inspired her to write Carl's story. That's Ethan. So let's go where the book begins. Our fish food is 42% protein. A lot of it's made with squid meal. Michelle's brother, Ethan Edge, owns Edge Pond Management and also works on his family's fish farm. So this holds 100 pounds of fish food. They feed the fish three times a day. Eight in the morning, one o'clock in the evening, and six o'clock at night. He takes pride in what he does and says aquaculture is a part of land management. It's managing what you have. It's a food source for you, and it teaches you how life really works. You know, when you're managing a pond, it's predator to prey. It's just like it does with the deer, the turkeys, you know, all of it going back. But you're putting a whole entire world in one little spot. It's not spread out over many, many acres. Aquaculture is not just eating fish or, you know, raising fish. It is also the water quality management. There's certain blooms, there's certain algaes and ponds. I mean, if your cattle drink them, it'll kill them. And knowing the life of water, in essence, is going to make our life better. He uses what he learned in college and some on-the-job training when he's taking care of the fish. My job involves a lot of science and math. Um, we use microscopes a lot. He says he also uses chemistry to check the water quality, and math comes in handy every day. Every morning we load trucks, every day that we're trying to do weight counts or see how many fish we have left, math is very important. When the water temperature is stable at 70 degrees, blue gillfish will reproduce every 30 days. They'll hatch out and then they'll be fry. And then we'll feed the fry and we'll grow them to whatever size of fish we may need. Typically, you know, we sell anywhere from a one to a six inch fish. How long that process takes depends on a lot of things, including what season we're in. Did you know fish slow down in the winter? They're not gonna grow as fast as they will during the summer. They're not as active. I mean, they're, they're going to get slow when the winter comes around. They're not going to eat as much. They're just going to kind of, they're, they're not using as much. Their metabolism will slow down some. He says the quality of the pond water is a big part of what he does daily. And just because a pond looks healthy doesn't mean it is. Going back to like bad algal bloom, cyano, bacteria, there's some of them out there that they're just, you can't see it on the naked eye. Um, it's going to be, have to be put it up under a microscope and get it tested. Those bubbles are aerators and help eliminate algae. The reason why is it rolls that water, it's going to push some irons up in the water that the algae cannot survive in. And algae has a harder time surviving in moving water. The Edge family knows what they're doing here on their farm, but they say there's room for more. I want to challenge kids to think outside the box. You have options when it comes to aquaculture and agriculture. There's room for everyone in aquaculture and agriculture. In Trutland County, I'm Jennifer Parson reporting for the Farm Monitor.